Today's STEM Quick Win is Build a Model House, and it's based off the story of the three little pigs. To learn more about the content behind today's STEM Quick Win, check out the activity sheet linked down below. Now let's get into the video. Hi, my name is Ian, and this is my big sister, Matt. Yeah, and today's STEM Quick Win, we're going to be talking about fairy tales. Ian, what fairy tale are we going to be talking about? The Three Little Pigs. The Three Little Pigs, yeah. And in The Three Little Pigs, can you think of anything that they build or anything like that? Houses. Houses, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Just like The Three Little Pigs, Ian here is going to be acting like an architect and a structural engineer. All right, now wait, let's think back to The Three Little Pigs. When they build these houses, when they act as those architects, what materials do they use? Do they all use the same materials? No. No? One, one of them uses um, straw, one of them uses sticks, and the other one uses bricks. So they all use different materials. Do these different materials all hold up the same when that big bad wolf comes and tries to huff and pull up, puff and blow the houses down? No, the sticks and straw just go, they just fall down, but then the brick stands up. What does that tell us about the materials? Um, that the brick is the strongest and the um, straw and the sticks aren't that sturdy. Yeah, so the material we use to build something really affects how strong it is and how well it withstands certain things. We're gonna use the engineering design process to build our own houses for one of these adorable little pigs. All right, we're gonna start by drawing. Ian, you wanna draw something for us? Yeah. I got a piece of paper right here for you. All right, Ian, can you tell me a little bit while you're drawing about the materials you're going to use? Oh, I'm probably going to use popsicle sticks because they're pretty sturdy, and then I'm going to put Play-Doh to make the structural um, integrity um, better for the bottom of it. All right, awesome. Can, I, can we look how you're drawing? All right, this is really cool. You think you're ready to start building? Yeah. All right, let's go. popsicle sticks and the play-doh like we talked about. So now we have our pig inside and the other thing that we need to do is make sure that it can withstand that big bad wolf huffing and puffing. So we're going to use this fan here. You can use a hair dryer if you have one at home. Ian, you want to act as the big bad wolf? Ready, set, go! Awesome. So Ian, what are you noticing as, you're, as the big bad wolf is blowing it down? Um, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. So I think that you did a really good job and you passed the test of the big bad wolf. But even so, we're using the engineering design process. So can you think of any improvements you could make for next time? Um, I can make the house, like, like the top of the house, like a triangle because it's a better shape. Hmm, so you want to use more triangles. Why do you want to use more triangles? Because it's like a stronger shape than like squares. So now that that's done, we want to see what you guys do to help make a home for your adorable little pigs or whatever animals you have at home. So let us know how you solve this problem. Thanks for your time. 